It was a fight until the last day for the one seed, and like always, it'll be a fight to Saturday night at the Garden to take home the Big East title. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com, breaking down the Big East tournament, one in which Louisville is the one seed after winning the Big East regular season title for the first time since joining the league. And while the Cardinals have had plenty of success under Rick Pitino in the Big East, well, the conference tournament has been a different story. One in three in their three conference tournament appearances, losing to Pittsburgh each year. Now, the first year the Cardinals were the lower seed and played in the NIT, they weren't expected to win. But in each of the last two seasons, Louisville was the better seed, yet fell to the Panthers en route to Pittsburgh playing for the conference tournament championship. And the only place the two can meet this year would be in the title game. And that's a place where Jamie Dixon and even the squads with Ben Howland well, they were very familiar. Pittsburgh has played in the Big East Tournament Finals seven times in the last eight years. Last year, winning the tournament second in school history, so they're back to defend a title. Let's bring in CBS College Sports' Steve Lapis to get into this. And Steve, Louisville's the one seed, Pittsburgh's the two, UConn is the three. Obviously, all three teams can't make it to the finals. Uh, Pitt and UConn, if the tournament went according to plan, would meet in the semis. Is it possible, though, that you think we could see all three of these teams as one seeds in the NCAA Tournament? I think it's unlikely that three will be one seeds in the NCAA tournament. There's a good chance for two. I just think Connecticut, for example, having lost the pit for a second time the last game of the season, has put themselves in a tough spot unless they get to the Big East championship game. With Pitt in the way in the semis, that's obviously going to be a big question. But if they beat Pitt in the semis, then they probably will be a one. Will Pitt still be a one? That's a question. I don't think three will be one seed. So you think Louisville has a better chance than, than Connecticut to be a one seed? I think they do because they have, not that they have an easy run to the finals, they have to go through Villanova before they get to the championship game, but I just think that they have a better run and right now have been on a big roll to get to the championship game. Well, we'll see how much the committee takes into account the early season struggles they had at home with losses like UNLV and, uh, and Western Kentucky. Uh, Steve, what about the Panthers uh, and on teams like them? Last year, Pittsburgh became just the second team to win this tournament by winning four games in four days. Uh, Syracuse was the other back in 2006. Is there a team that you think outside of the top three has a chance to run the table here? I think of the teams playing the first day, I think Georgetown has the best chance to make a decent run. They play St. John's first, then they play a Marquette team that is really struggling without Dominic James, with him being hurt the way they struggle down the stretch. So I think Georgetown is a team that could make a run through this tournament, but certainly not win the tournament. Now of course, that, of course, that's all part of the new Big East tournament. Five days, uh, and Georgetown has to play on the first day. You mentioned Marquette. Uh, what about the Golden Eagles, Steve? They're coming in four straight losses, all the top 25 teams, and of course, all without Dominic James. Uh, when you talk about this team, what do they need to accomplish in this tournament, not just for confidence, uh, but also maybe for seeding in the NCAA tournament? Well, they absolutely have to win the first game. You know, understand this. The NCAA tournament committee is going to take into account that Dominic James is not coming back. If he had missed those last four games and is coming back, maybe they take that into consideration and give them a better seed. I think right now their seed is at big risk. They have to win at least that first game in the Big East tournament. All right, there's really only one team on the bubble here in the, heading into the Big East tournament, Steve, and that's, and that's Providence. When you look at the Friars and Keno Davis, what do you think they need to accomplish in this tournament? Well, 70 RPI, I think it's going to be very difficult. And their first game, they're not really getting much help between DePaul and Cincinnati if they win that game. So they have to go out and they have to beat Louisville to at least get themselves back on the bubble. Well, that means they have to make it to the semifinals of the tournament, which would be uh, an accomplishment for Keno Davis and Providence. Now, we, we talked about this a little bit at the top of this uh, and, and hit just a little bit, but it's the first time the biggest tournament, Steve, has, has had all 16 teams since the league went to this uh, format with 16 teams in the conference. It's a five-day long tournament now, so it's a marathon. Do you like the way that the Big East is doing this? Love it. When I coached at Villanova, we fought for it every year. We never could get it done. I'm happy for the players and the coaches. Imagine this, the pressure that you're under as a coach if you can't get to your own conference tournament. Forget about the NCAA tournament. And for the players to have played in this league and not have had an opportunity like some kids haven't to experience Madison Square Garden in New York for the Big East tournament, it would be a shame. I'm I think it's a terrific thing that they're doing this for everybody. Who are you taking to win, Steve? I know it's not one of the teams on the first day. Boy, Louisville has really struggled in this tournament, but I think right now they're on a roll. Boy, I'm going to pick Louisville. I just think that Connecticut is going to beat Pitt in the semis because I can't see Pitt beating them three times in a row. I'm going to pick Louisville, but they're going to have a war with Villanova in the semis. All right, we'll see how that all plays out. Big East tournament, it's always fun to watch, and uh, we'll be there and be uh, getting up to dates here on CBSSports.com throughout the week. Steve, thank you very much, sir.
Thank you. All right, folks, and don't forget, March Madness On Demand is back, and the tournament is right around the corner. Be sure to get every single game of the NCAA tournament live online for free from the first tip to the championship game. Go to NCAA.com to find out more. For Steve Lapis, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.